can be very good at locking down Team Vitality from a very far way away. And they're going to lock that one in. So SK, very strong team fight, a lot of effective range. Well, in the way they they're on a ward, so Vitality should be able to disengage this, but I don't know if they did it in time. They definitely did not. That was a very good rocket jump from Crown Shot, but Labrov did fight. not. Waiting for the opportunity. Tinks is going to try and challenge a little bit on that Skana control panel. Here we go. One that goes forward. That's a flash from Crown Shot. Turns his attention onto Jezu. Jezu gets stunned in place. And this will be a 2v2 kill. Beautiful. Donated to Crown Shot. They come away yeah. basically. How good will they be? Because they are so, so close to playoffs. Gauge tools that they do have. Jump onto Vitality before they get the time to scale, before they get the levels and the items under their belt. Tinks is going to be ghosting in. The unstoppable onslaught comes forward, and this should be a relatively easy kill onto Labrov. Finally goes down as Jezu picks it. We haven't seen that Impale used just yet, and we're still a long way away from any Quicksilver sashes. We really are. Flashing Pals available. Oh, That's oh, a baby. flash magnet storm into the onslaught of Shadows, but there's not enough damage just yet. Skeens is able to survive long enough for the Impale to oh. let Crowshot get the kill. Treats dashes forward and Skeens escapes with his life. Now it's SK on the retreat. They started the fight and lost. The oh. mid-season substitution for Vitality. And Whoa! He's the one that's stepping up. Blue will get caught out. The Emperor's Divide, there's no Flash Impale, <laughs> and I don't think Melissa really even needed anything more if Blue had stuck Here around. Here we go, we're fighting again, Trevor. Absolutely are. Tinks goes to try, get away, gets rooted up, or stunned up, rather, by Labrov. Support comes in from Jezu, and now the Herald and, in the middle. But it will be that Infernal Drake going over to Vitality, stack, stack, stacking it away. That It'll be going to be a winning trade here for Vitality. This is actually uh, something to highlight. If Vitality can use the Azir and the Tristana for cross-map plays, the two of them. your support and everything, you actually have much more dive threats. You can zone the enemy AD carry off the tower. It also enables you to get that deep vision leading up into a Drake fight. Here we go. Elitza committed the flash for that one. The target is going to be treats for the Impale. Here comes Crown Shot. Not going to be able to do more. The Shockwave lands onto Melitza and the Root will not find anybody. So both teams what ultimates are left. We're going to get a TP in from Gen X. He's got his ult Shigenda too, ready to get into the party. LeBron, though, do they want to go in? There's the target. The Shadows is thrown out by Tinks, turns his attention onto LeBron, kicks Crown Shot. Backwards. Crown Shot is caught up, stunned. Gen X is on top of him, and he's shut down by Jezu. One of the damage threats removed, and that means Skeens is left out to dry. He flashes over the wall, escapes with his life, and SK will get uncontested on the draw. It's a critical team fight victory there from SK. Not only does it get the kill onto Crown Shot, it gives them this Ocean Drake, stops that stacking of the soul, and even gets a flash out of Skeens. One of the primary playmaking tools from Vitality is going to be him flashing in, snap grabbing a target, and pulling him back. But uh, in that situation, it was just a comedy because him and the Magnus would awkward here for Vitality. Melissa's just TPing in, so he's not here immediately. Crown Shot goes flying, and he sees the CC target, but doesn't realize, well, there's Gen X flying at you. And Again, it's Gen X in these team fights finding the target he should never be able to find. Tristana with her ultimate with a dash. She has everything. But now, 20 minutes, they insta start the Baron and they shred it. It's gone. There's nothing SK can do. Didn't expect it. Didn't have the vision. Didn't even check it. Huh. And Vitality just a lot of these advantages. But all credit to Shigend in the top lane, to Melitza yeah. holding firm in the mid lane. They're doing everything they need to across the map. And in this goal is important, but usually you'd like to get some value out of that. Like the MR isn't super valuable against primarily one magic damage dealer in Melitza, who realistically should not be hitting Jezu or Blue. So these items are very much the QSS tax, and they are feeling real bad that they had to buy them. They really, really are. There's the engage onto Treats. No further follow-up or ultimates committed. The tower will remain alive for now. And as soon as Tinks shows face, this will allow Chicken <laughs> to push in the bottom lane. I mean, Mini Noir plus Baron Empowered Minions. And there will be some support from SK. Can they set up a kill? Shigenda will hop away to safety, and there's no engage. But it's just Baron in part of pressure, yeah. plus 3k in this uh, Red Bull Baron power play, and they've unlocked the map completely. And if Tariq was going to force that fight, Vitality up for uh, theoretical engage on the SK side. This is the third dragon of the game for Vitality. It's only been five Three kills remaining. They don't have good scouting deep into the pit, so SK is going to have to face check. And it's Vitality that start the fight. They impale Treats. He cannot use that ultimate. He cannot start the fight. And Vitality used their vision fantastically. SK have three QSSs out of five. But Therese doesn't have one. He's a sitting duck when he goes flying on in. And now Tinks, he has his ultimate to try and go zooming into the pit. But he's not going to get the chance to get close here. 
LeBron is completely zoning him away. The curtain call does nothing as the final shot made me cringe. LeBron, LeBron, flank, LeBron, flank. LeBron is looking for a target. It's Tinks that gets jumped on. Tinks has still got the ultimate and the ghost to escape. And that's what he's going to need to do. If Remember you're this? dropping games against teams like Vitality, well, now that top three question, it's a little bit out of it. Shigenda jumps away, throws him off of him. And now Vitality, they don't have to worry about that onslaught of shadows anymore. No, they do not. So they can look to see whoa, whoa, whoa. teleport coming in. This will be, I think, Gen X. It's Gen X's line. time to shine. Looking for Crown Shot, looking for Skeens. Impale is available. The Buster Shot by so much time. Flash forward. The Impale is rooting him in place. Crown Shot remains untouched. He gets the first kill. Rocket jumps away to safety. And now it's SK on the retreat. Shigenda starting to gnaw out. Can he survive long enough? Forced to flash. That's Huge. a great engage from Lebron. The Pulverize sends SK packing. The last man standing is blue. And he is dunked for a triple from Militza. Lebron had a rough start to this game. He got picked on in the bot lane. But over and over in these team fights, he shows up when it matters. Vitality lost the player at the start. But it's Lebron to fly and get the three man knock up and lock up the game for Vitality. Beautiful game from Vitality. Spike conceding first blood, they bounce back. And Vitality will take down SK. Let me time that again. Vitality take down SK. Yeah! That's the hype they needed there. Vitality end the win streak of SK. And they give themselves a little bit more hope. 0.6 something scenarios.